finally home from Steel City Con in Monroeville. This is everything we got from Steel City Con and the exchange in Monroeville. So we got quite a few figure hauls from two epic locations, if I do say so myself. And there goes Starscream from Animated. He fell down. Well, let's look at him first. We got the fast food McDonald's transforming Starscream. It's Air Commander Starscream. <laughs> I love doing his voice on the bucket list for sure. Next of animated, we got Bumblebee. And I'm going to review him first here on the channel. So he's going... Well, I'm going to review him on the channel. So we got animated Bumblebee. Why not? He's an old school one. And these are some 80s, which we're going to review next month. Month, we're going to review one of these. We're going to start with Mixmaster. There's another review. Or maybe I'll just do both of them together. Mixmaster and Long Haul together next month. So, yeah, they'll be reviewed as a set since it's getting close to having a complete set. So, some epic Transformers we are going to review. So, yep. We're going to review some Transformers for next month. Yay for Transformers Week, right? Some G1 Decepticons. Why not? And I'm... Three more closer to having a complete set of Generation 1 Constructicons. So yeah, when I get these Constructicons, I'll have to locate their combined mode pieces and then form the Mighty Devastator. So look forward to seeing that video, for sure. Next, we got some Star Wars in the house. Why not? And this is the Star Wars The Clone Wars Adventures... It's Asajj Ventress, and I do not have Asajj Ventress in any figure form in my collection, so she will be reviewed on the channel. Why not? Next, we got some Power Rangers in the house, and it's none other than Wild Force. Wild Force, Power Rangers, we'll bend this world together. Wild Force, Power Rangers. Well, together, Wild Force, Wild Force, Wild Force Access. And I couldn't help do this song because this is from Power Rangers Wild Force. Why not? Dare I say, why not? Of course, we got some TMNT in the house. It's Michelangelo. Most of these figures we just showed off are from Steel City Con. Michelangelo was from Steel City Con. The Power Ranger was from The Exchange. But yeah, I've got a couple TMNT figures to review with some random figures, of course. Next on the list, we got some 90s in the house. And if you don't know who this is, this is 90s. The original Batman movie, 90s. Two-Face. Why not? Two-Face himself or Harley Depp. Because I needed more Batman villains in my collection. I still need Riddler. I want to get Catwoman and so forth. But Two-Face is one of my favorites. Villains of the DC Universe. Why not? And there I say, why not? And you've got them at Steel City Con. Next, we got from the Exchange. We got... A vintage, real Ghostbusters from the 90s or 80s. I can't remember which. But yeah, we got a real Ghostbusters toy. He's missing his proton pack, but I don't care. Just so good to have a vintage Ghostbusters figure. So I can tell my buddy Bert I got me some vintage figures, huh? Next on the list of vintage figures, speaking of... If you're watching this, Bert, Retro 80s Bert, I got me a He-Man Skeletor. I'll get you next time, He-Man. 
You won't get away with defeating me. I'll be back, He-Man. And I couldn't help the voice. And I gave him a weapon. Why not? Dare I say, why not? It's fun. Next on the list, we got some vintage Star Trek. This is retro vintage Star Trek. I think it's from the 90s. or Yeah, it's from the 90s. I think it was on in the 90s. So this is Star Trek Next Generation Captain Jean-Luc Picard. And I liked Star Trek when I was a kid. So this is one figure I am definitely going to open and definitely going to review. Also from the exchange. And we got them for five bucks, which is quite a deal. If I do say so myself. We got a G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra Soldier. I think I originally had one of these. But I wound up selling it, which was a was the reason I just didn't like it or something. But I decided to own it again. And this time, he is going to be not sold. He's going to be part of my Cobra army. Why not? He's Cobra. And speaking of Cobra, we got this Cobra soldier from the movie Jedi G.I. Joe Venom vs. Valor. And I love me some Cobra soldiers. You can go like, Cobra! That was their battle cry. Why not? I like some Joe. I do like me some G.I. Joes in the house. Next on the list, we got this figure. I think it's from World of Warcraft. She will definitely be reviewed here on the channel. Why not? There I say, why not? Next on the list, we got this. The Invisible Woman from Fantastic Four. So I got the thing in her. Just bring in the thing just to show you. So I got two out of the four Fantastic Four. Definitely going to be in my collection for sure. That will be reviewed as well. Why not? <laughs> Say why not. Next, we got this guy. I don't know who he is or what if he's from a video game or a movie. But if you know and want to leave me a comment in one of my earlier videos, maybe one of my toy haul videos or something, if you can, any way you can leave a comment, Please tell me who this guy is. He is so cool looking. Soldier dude. And I just like him that much. That's the only one I know nothing, nothing about. Okay. For our anime figure for the week. We got the anime. Bandai 2000's Naruto Uzumaki. I will become Hokage. And everybody will respect me. That's literally my Naruto impression. So yeah, he's going to be reviewed for sure next month. The last brand new thing. We got this for 10 bucks. This is the open cockpit Ironmonger from Iron Man, the first movie. I will open this and mess around with it. But I love me some Iron Man toys, even if it's Iron Monger. He is just so cool looking with his suit. Looking so hardcore, like he's going to bash Iron Man in the ground and get some other figures in the line. Why not? Dare I say, why not? And this is my entire toy haul. Wondering how much I paid for this stuff? 140 bucks, More than I would usually spend at these cons. But I'm so glad to pick these up and finally get them in my collection. If you like this video, please make sure to like. Please make sure to comment. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Steady Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out. YouTube land.